Jake, I'd love to be in your office someday and, and play footy, but I can't tackle and can't run. But welcome to my office here today. Now, mate, you played golf as a kid? Yeah, you know, I grew up in Noosa and the old man was a, a member out at uh, Taunton Noosa Golf Club there. So I used to play a little bit with him and there's actually a little par three that that was probably more my go. Uh, you know, from pretty early age, I was, uh, yeah, into the footy and you know, I didn't have too much time for the golf. Too good. Well, we're here at the Lakes Golf Club. You haven't played here before. This is home yeah. of one of the Australian Open. So let's give it a bash. I can't wait to see how far you hit it with big arms like that. <laughs> Looking forward to it, mate. Let's go. Smash! It's got a little bit Not of bad. speed in it. So, mate, you guys, you know, go and lift a lot of heavy weights and do a lot of training. Do you yeah. ever get on the golf course with any of the other players? Latrell and uh, Luke Keery are probably the two mad golfers at, at the club. Is that right? Yeah, this year the boys have been playing, you know, days off. Yep. They're going up around and, yeah, the boys really enjoy it. So I've got out a few times with them, but... Yeah. That's the height and the short of it, isn't it? Height of Latrell and how short Keery yeah. is, that'd be a... Funny matchup right there. Yeah, it's chalk and cheese, you know. <laughs> Who's the better player out of the two of those? Uh, I think kiri has got Latrell actually. Yeah, Latrell can uh, hit the ball. He uh, he gets behind it, so smash. Yeah. All right, we've got 200 metres forever down the third hole there at the lake. So, got the hybrid in hand. You said it's not one of your favourite clubs, eh? Hey? Nah, nah, not a fan of it, but we'll we'll have a crack <laughs> at it. All right, so. it's never the club's fault. <laughs> That's where we like them, just straight. That's right. We're not looking for that. Greenkeeper doesn't like me. <laughs> Probably not like that. <laughs> Pretty deep, that one. Hey, mate, you're in the middle of the fairway, so you've probably got about 80 metres, so whatever yeah. you would use on that. Yeah. Probably a pitching wedge, Pitching wedge is perfect. Yeah. And because you're a bit more of a social golfer, these are tough shots, aren't they? Yeah, they're short games. Not, not one of my strong suits. Uh, we'll see how we go. Now, one of your uh, ex-Roosters players, you know, th fancies himself, Braith. Yeah. Has he ever given you any decent tips? I actually played with him well, back when he was at the Roosters and yeah. I was a young fella and um, went and played with him a few times, but uh, <laughs> he sort of got me the brush uh, pretty quickly. <laughs> no hints. No, I, he tried to, but they, they, weren't, they weren't working for me. Obviously, they were bad hints, or maybe I'm a bad player, but uh, no, nah, you know, he's used to hitting every fairway and every green, and we'd be going from side to side and in the bush and whatever else, so he, uh, yeah, he, he shafted us pretty quick. <laughs> Not enough wheat bits. Just lacking a bit of strength, maybe a bit more time in the gym for you. Yeah, I haven't done weights for a couple of weeks, actually. <laughs> oh, I'd knock this one in. Funny one, we want to hit it a million miles, but this is the money part of the game. Oh, on edges. Hey, good way to start, bud, a four putt. Yeah. That's what you get for not playing a lot of golf, mate. Uh, that's all right. That's next what happens. Hole, eh? Let's go that straight to the next. <laughs> there you go. Finally got one on the fairway. Shot, mate, mate that's up all you're going to do is something yeah. up there. Now, what's weird about golf, you think? Oh. I don't know, actually. There's a few strange rules. You know, I always, always used to get in trouble. You know, the furthest away has the putt first when oh. you're on the green, and <laughs> I used to roll up to the green, and off I'd go and have me putt no matter where I was, and the old man used to blow up a bit, so. <laughs> what, you'd want to get in there and putt first? Yeah, I just thought, whoever's on the green first, go and have a putt, <laughs> you know? Let's get it going. Oh! Nearly. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I learned my lesson pretty quick with that. And the rules of golf, do you get confused with those? Because you don't get to play that often. Yeah, I'd probably bend them a bit when I play. <laughs> Whenever someone's not watching, kick the ball a bit, a bit closer. But I, I don't know all the rules, to be honest. I, I know all the, the stock standard rules, but there'd be plenty that I'm cheating a bit on. <laughs> all right, let's give it a bash here at the fifth hole here when you little four iron just around the corner. Right, uh, sounds easy. <laughs> oh, wait for that. No, oh, looks all right. Do you hear that? Is that a house? How about we get stuck into that master class yeah, now? We'll show you a couple of things. Be a good idea. You can help me with my chip kicking. <laughs> I'll help you with the long game. So Jake, I know you don't play a lot of golf, but I'm going to give you a couple of things in this master class yeah. to help you when you go play, and then possibly that you'll take Braith out after this. Hopefully, right? I need So the a first thing is actually is the setup. So if we get the first part of the setup and the first part of the backswing right. I think you'll be ready to go. For me, you, you bend 
in all the wrong places. You bend too much in the knees and you sit back in your heels. Your arms are too far away from your body. So we're going to make it simple. There's, we're going to bend in the right places. So the main bend in the golf swing and the setup is in your hips. So slight bend in your knees. They don't have to have too much bend in it. Slight bend in there. Bend over directly from the hips and the arms will hang directly down from your shoulders. So if it feels like you're way out there, you are. If it feels like you're in too close, you are. So what we want to do is just hang directly down from the shoulders. Let's make this pretty simple. Feet shoulder width apart. Yep. Slight bend in the knees. Right, we're going to get our arms directly straight out like this. And this is the best way to get it in the setup, straight out there. Bend over directly from the hips. The arms should hang directly down. And I've just found a little spot here that hasn't got a tat on it that you can write, bend from the hips, arms directly down from the shoulders, all right? So you yeah, can whack cool, one mate. in there. Put it right there. Right there. All right, let's get into this shot. Sweet. Not too many bends in the knees. Bend over from the hips. Head up. There you go. Arms directly down from your shoulders. Away you go. Smash. Yeah, so right. see your divot pattern change straight away. Yeah. No big divots because yep. you weren't up and down. It was more yeah, round. And yeah. then you could hit through it, more room to move. So we're creating room and speed. And you've got plenty of that from dummy half, haven't you? Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> You're in the hole. Look at That's that. Better. You could be my best student ever. Straight on the green, Who mate. What's that? <laughs> oh, awesome. You definitely got the most improved. That seven iron is awesome. That's yeah, uh, mate. Well I haven't fly. hit it that close before, so thanks, mate. Well, Appreciate remember that. those things. Bend over from the hips, not too far away. So let's play some more holes. I think there was a big lip out too. Well, mate, welcome to my office. I yeah. quite regularly watch you play in your office, but now you're at my office. The seventh hole at the Lakes, 110. You're in the challenge. What club you got? Uh, I've got the pitching wedge, so right. if I can get onto this, I reckon I'll, I'll, I'll be close enough. All right, no nerves, let's get going. Cool, mate. Go! Get up a bit. Bit short. It's a line. Oh. Good shot. I'll take that. Front of the green. Good shot. <laughs> what am I? Let, about? Eight I don't feet? know. Let's go and measure it. We'll right go right, and measure let's that. Go Jeez, you struck it well. Yeah. Maybe the caddy got the club wrong. I'm giving yeah. you wedge, not instead of nine. Mate, that's a fantastic shot. Little yeah. wedge. Maybe I didn't give you the wrong club. Put that Pretty at the front of the that, ball. Mate. That's a very. This has got to be about five meters. That would be a, a top ten from last year. Actually, it's better than that. Three point seven meters. Pretty Imagine if that. you played this game more regularly. <laughs> yeah, mate. It's probably uh, one of the best shots of my life, I reckon. <laughs> so. And that'd be a, a top four from last year. That is fantastic. More shots like that. Great Thanks, shot. mate. It's all the masterclass, eh? <laughs> I wish that had a lot to do with it. Mate. Thanks for taking the time out Cheers, um, to come and play. Hopefully your golf gets a lot better. And if you hit them like that, I reckon you'll take Braith out at some time. Yeah, so. mate, that's the plan. So get well, on all here the and best. Uh, give him a crack at it. So. Good. Cheers, mate. Thanks for having me today. Holes, Appreciate huh? it. Cheers.